What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'll talk about some graphical improvements we'll be getting with update 31 for the Elder Scrolls Online. Now this will be only for PC and new gen consoles. I will link all the information down in the description below if you'd like to read over everything for yourself. But the first thing they talked about was dynamic resolution scaling coming with update 31. They said a lot of people have been talking about why the resolution could not be higher considering we are on new gen consoles. We want higher resolutions and still be able to run at 60 FPS. And they said with uh, update 31, the Xbox Series X and S and PS5, uh, they're going to take steps to, you know, get the resolution to go up while playing in performance mode, but also still keep consistent frames. Is it for Xbox Series X and PS5, the dynamic resolution will now be scaling between 1080 and 2160p, which is 4K. And for the Series S, you will be scaling between 1080p and 1440p. Is it, so for example, players will be able to run around uh, at or very close to 4K and 60 FPS in performance mode in most situations. But this is on the flip side. The headroom for dropping to low as 1080p should further prevent drops in frames in high intense situations. And they listed things like Cyrodiil, dungeon boss fights, trial situations, all that kind of stuff. So it seems like the game is going to allow you to run around, you know, those high resolutions, those four, up to 4K resolutions at 60 FPS when you're doing something that's not very intense. But if you get into something that's an intense situation, it will then drop down to 1080 to allow you to keep that consistent 60 FPS. So you're not having to swap back and forth, you know, between, you know, performance mode and, you know, being able to have great graphics and having, having better FPS. So this is going to allow for the game to scale between 1080 and like I said, 2160 on the Xbox Series X and PS5 and 1080 and 1440 on the Series S. So it will be a nice visual change, but also it will allow you to still be able to do more intense things without having to go in and swap anything out, you know, changing anything in your settings. That way it'll just drop down automatically to 1080 and still keep your 60 FPS going while you're playing. Also, they talked about a new HDR mode, which will be coming to uh, consoles as well. They said this is going to be kind of the ESO SDR while taking advantage of increased range. This is if you prefer the way ESO looks right now in the HDR mode, you will have to simply go in and toggle the new, uh, the new HDR mode setting from default to vibrant. So you still will be able to change those in the settings if you prefer the old way instead of the new the new HDR mode that will still be available in game as well. Cause I know some people may like the look of how it is now. And some people may not be a, a big of a fan of how it's going to look with the new SDR mode. Also, they talked about the new rendering beta on PC. It says with the launch of the new generation consoles brought with it, many improvements to our rendering threading to achieve 60 FPS in performance modes In update 31. They're bringing our console uh, rendering uh, the ways they did the rendering on the new gen versions of, Elder Scrolls Online to PC via a new opt-in beta setting for those who are CP limited while playing ESO. And it did say in quotes, most of you, this setting will allow you and should improve your frame rate in the game throughout. So that's going to be added to PC as well. So not only are we getting some improvements on the console end, it looks like with the new gen consoles, now they can look at changing everything between, you know, consoles and PC and kind of getting everything to work together and improving frames and improving gameplay, which is good for the game going forward. I mean, that's always a great thing to be able to keep, you know, all your updates and things kind of on the same par because you don't really have a difference in platforms to really harm, you know, or affect what you're doing with up from update to update. Anyway, guys, leave me a comment with your thoughts. Of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. Be sure to check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course the affiliate here on channel Empire Jerky. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.